Welcome to Winging It. We are playing Gloomhaven Digital today. I actually started the next scenario and then my recording had an issue with it, so I'm just restarting it. I only looted, like, I got like a little bit of XP, like 2 XP, and uh, Stabby got like 3 gold. So uh, we're picking up where we left off. I'm not going to do the city event since I'm in town because I'm just trying to preserve as close to what I had as before. But hey, we're going. Um, you know, the, like as if that that failed run didn't happen due to my recording issues. So anyway, we're gonna go to the Inox encampment. We will have to do a road event. I can't get around that, but the last road event ended up doing nothing. It was just like a traveling circus, and they said, "Oh, you get a free pass to the cir circus." Maybe that will show up later. The route to your uh, destination is less than direct than you had hoped, and you end up taking a shortcut through a small forest. There, you happen upon a family of deer. They are still a ways off in the distance and haven't noticed you. You approach cautiously. We're just going to watch the deer for a little bit. Oh, you enjoy watching the animals graze when an arrow flies out and hits one of the larger deer in its ch uh, in its center chest. It bolts away, but doesn't make it very far before collapsing. You see a large inox emerge from the brush and tor turn toward you. I thought you were going to do something stupid there for a second. Thanks for not scaring away my quarry. Allow me to share some of the spoils with you. You have been blessed. Which means we get uh, two cr auto crits in each of our decks, so that's nice. So this merchant wants to make an example of some caravan raiders. Yeah, seems reasonable enough. For the right amount of money, almost anything can be made reasonable. You enter the Dagger Forest and begin to track down the encampment using Jaxera's crude map. It is well hidden, but following the signs outlined on the parchment, you find a dense cluster of huts in a small clearing of the forest. All that's left is to head in and make that requested example. All right, so um, let's see. We have the kill one or more elite uh, um, monsters during the scenario, which she could do. Are you in the scenario? Um, your health has to be equal to two or less. Uh, either of these are probably doable, but we'll focus on killing an elite and your health at the end of the scenario is equal to your maximum health. Well, I did it last time. Cause a trap to be sprung, strong, sprung or disarmed on your turn, or on the turn of one of your summons. Right, scenario. I can do that actually. So, I know this one. I remember it well enough to know that there is a uh, trap I can spring. All right. So we're going to do our same smoke bomb flanking strike. And we'll do the perverse edge and the mind's weakness. And let's go. Let's see, our goal here is to kill the number of enemies equal to five times the number of mercenaries. So that's 10. And there will be one that spawns back here. And I think they do not draw gold. Okay, so the, uh, the onyx archers are going to move one, attack three. All right, there's only one of... They won't hurt us. Um, let's see. The Ice Guard will move one, attack three, strengthen. And the uh, uh, Shaman is going to heal. Okay, not a big deal. These are all pretty, pretty benign. So pull him up. Alright, we'll do the stun. And then we'll attack. Mind's weakness? Okay, cool. Dead. That works out pretty well. They're getting strong. Get throwing knives and then move up. Do a little damage. Yeah, they can move up and, uh, you know, 
I wonder if we just want to run back and uh, we can actually go all the way over and start messing with this uh, shaman elite. That would be actually pretty good. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not that much. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we'll wait one more turn to let her come closer. In the meantime, we'll uh, hit those two with throwing knives. And then we could actually, we could use the backstab and the quick hands to move up. Two, three, four. Not even the back step, we could just do, but I think I just want to move five and then get in position and then mess with it next time. Yeah, that's good. And then we will scurry and, oh no, no, we will frigid submission to do one of those guys and we'll hope. No, we'll use hostile takeover to go fast. We can move up, hit those two guys, yeah. Okay, we want to make sure that's... All right, let's see. All right, so the Shaman Elite is going to move to attack three. A three to range three. Okay, I think it's not gonna mess with us too much. Okay, what are these guys gonna do? They're gonna... You're going to give us weak attacks. And this guy is going to do what? He's going to create a damage hex trap, which is fine. All right. All right. So we're just using this for the fast initiative. Move up here. We'll tank one of these guys' hits. We'll stun the other. And we'll poison it. I forgot that this guy was kind of buffed, but we can still tank one hit from him. Okay. We'll give each of these guys a hit. We could use like goggles to do the most damage on both, but I guess not necessary. <laughs> of a null. Okay, so he crit, but my helmet helped, so that's fine. Alright, so the Mind Thief, now we have to actually kill things. So, we will use this to heal. And then we'll just KO that guy. Hopefully we're still okay tanking the other one. Alright, and then we have our Scoundrel. We're going to look at Thief Snack, and we don't have the poison. So we'll use that for a attack on top, or we can hit him and then move. We can take one round of hits, I think. Okay, so the shaman's going to do some cursing. Hit both of them. The archer is going to do another lame attack and mobilize. The guard is going to do a weak attack, range three. So we're probably okay. There's another guard up there. Oh. 
Well, that actually is terrible. No, no, we're not immobilized yet. But the, yeah, she'll go first, so. She's gonna move and do what? Let's see. Let's see, what does this guy do? Move one, okay, yeah. We're gonna move here so that this uh, shaman will be next to her. She can walk up and do that, get the benefit from being next to an ally. Okay. And then we will confirm the action to heal. We could hide, because this guy could hit us pretty hard. Let's see. What's our situation? Gonna hit the scoundrel. I think let's go ahead and let's do use our cloak. Okay, right. so we're gonna move up. So this guy's going to attack. Don't really care that much, but. Go here. We'll use our eagle eye goggles to get maximum benefit. We're hitting for four. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a crit. Take it. Oh man, I just realized I don't have, I should have taken the weapon that allows me to, or the hit that lets me push people back. I don't have it. So what am I doing? See, we really want to hit this guy as hard as we can. And then maybe we just hide. And she just tries to tank everything she can. Let's go fast, actually. The archer's gonna attack for one and create another. The shaman elite is going to heal. The onyx car is gonna hit for pretty weakly. Okay. Excellent. Okay. This guy's gonna hit for one. Do we need to go invisible? Or can we move and get this? We'll go invisible. Yeah. 
Oh, good. <laughs> she missed. Alright, great. Oh. Well. That's burning a card. Why did you... Oh, man. I didn't think 33 was that slow, but... Alright. Oh, we can't move. Trying to decide if I take the turn to heal up. I try to do some damage. If I heal up, two, three, four, five, six, then I can probably survive the long rest. Oh, I meant to go faster with the backstab. Well, I was wondering why I was going so slow. I hit, I clicked the wrong thing. I will just live with it. I think I can survive this. That was definitely a mistake. It cost me a burn card. She's gonna long rest and got the feedback loop going here. Attack three. It's probably fine. We'll just muddle this guy. And then we'll attack. Muddle uh, gives him disadvantage. Oh, or we could just straight up kill him. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's see, she's got to kill six more. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it's only four damage, it's fine. Okay. All right, what are we getting rid of here? I don't think throwing knives are that. Fantastic. Alright, she is going to long rest and then. I believe I can pull her through. Pull him through that. If not, I can pull this one through that. Okay, I thought I could pull this one through that. Since I can't, I'm restarting the round. That's for not knowing the rules perfectly. <laughs> but I'll, I'll select the same things. It just won't let me undo and select somebody else. We're still doing the smoke bomb and the special mixture. Nope. Minimum to admin. We're still doing the long rest here. What's she doing? Yeah, not much. Okay, so we'll just pull her through the trap. And we'll use our goggles. Alright, pretty good. Uh, actually, it's pretty good. Our healing card, why not? Alright. 
So what do we not need? Yeah, I don't think. We're just burning our healing cards left and right. Okay. First edge and then scurry. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then. We'll do this move three, and we'll make it a flanking strike. Let's go fast. So you can go. No, I need you go. I need the mind thief to go first. Uh, because we go one, two, three. I want to move this guy into the trap. So yeah, it's gonna have to be thief snack. Probably okay though. Uh, so guard is going to shield one, attack three, poison. I definitely don't want that to happen. I think of two and we still kill it. Very nice. Right, we're five to ten, so we're doing all right. Okay, so we're gonna do this move. Oh, we're we can't move. Goodness. So our turn is just done. I had plans, but I can't do any of them. Stun this guy. That's nice. She's just gonna shield. Yeah. All right. Healed up. And we're attacking, and we will either stun or just kill him outright. Good deal. We're gonna long rest into the night. That's just to get loot. Actually, we can get all this loot. Well, actually, we need three loot. Okay, so Miss Affliction, we'll just move back here. It's fine. Yeah. Move back there and get all three of those. That's a lot of loot. Yeah, it's going to rack our. It's okay. So we're going to go here. Call loot one. Nine gold is very good. Four damage, ow. Let's see. I think they're not going to be used together as much. So we're 
going to quickly do actually we should just hit him and then run away Three plus poison is better, actually, but all right. Mind thief. Let's go slower. All right, yeah, she's gonna shield one plus three poison. I was thinking she might do that. Or rather, I knew it was a thing. Here and get this gold, and then we can pull her across the. This is a damage too. It's fine. I can probably do that and kill her. But I still have the smoke bomb, do I? I think I do. Okay. So I can like go here, and she has she has shield, but yeah, not retaliate. So this is fine. Smoke bomb, and then get ready to move. What are they? What is she doing? They're moving. Attack three. Yeah, it's fine. How many have we killed? Gee, what's her battle goal? Oh, cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed. Actually, that is gonna be hard. She's gonna have to go like run on this trap. All right. I was thinking that I had the one that could push somebody into one, but I didn't. Okay, so this is not strictly necessary with what I'm trying to do. long rest there. Yeah, I should have got actually um, taken off the mind's weakness, but we're going to go in and scurry and stun it. So. <laughs> Oh man.
Night Thief is going to... I think we are going to feedback loop hit it and then smoke the can. Run in and hit it for the top with just a... Actually, we can run in. Hit that way. Yeah, that's well. Actually, we kind of want to be positioned over here. This is fine. Okay. What I'm trying to do, uh, I know there's some traps over here, and there's a guy, and I'm trying to position her where she can pull the guy across the traps. Oh, we'll see if that's going to actually work out. Stunning this one. And then we're going to open this up. You push your way into the back cave, only to be faced with a half dozen crying, screaming Inox children. You have little opportunity to contemplate the implications of this development, however as you find yourself also staring down the bows of several Inox archers. Your only option is to continue fighting. Let's see what this guy's going to do. He is going to attack four. See, we just have to kill him and one other. But the problem is this position isn't what I hoped it would be. In order, it's one, two, three, four. I got to get him to move. He's just going to attack. Yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and use this to get the chest. Let's see, what do we have left? Uh, we'll have, yeah, we'll be able to go invisible. So. Okay, a horned helm. I don't think that's anything I care about. Take the four damage, it's okay. Yes, that range is one, two, three, not quite enough. And Mind Thief is going to. to the night. Attack this guy. Put poison on him. And then disappear. And then she can do her long yeah. Oh, she's not actually close like I thought she was. Um, okay, well, she'll just attack him this way then. Then go invisible. Okay. Then we move here. We're going to have to face tank a big hit from this guy, which is unfortunate. Hopefully, we'll survive it. We'll just throw one of these traps, traps for XP, though. We're going to do a short rest so we can drag this guy right across. Okay. We're not going to have a lot here, but hopefully the Mind Thief, I think, can... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. She'll keep that. We'll just... Um, she's a, While she is invisible, we can do the long rest. Meanwhile... 
we will do the smoke bomb and the smoke bomb and the backstab, and that should be enough. Or the flanking strike. Let's see, it's gonna do four damage. The backstab will do. Now let's just go all in. So he has five health left. The backstab will be five. And we can eagle eyes. Yeah, let's just do it. Get the XP. We'll be exhausted after this, but their odds are really good. That'll get her bottle goal because we're gonna kill an elite during this scenario. Alright, so now the mind thief has to do everything else. <laughs> well we only have to kill one more though. Uh, so what do we need? We definitely want big movement. Probably don't care about hostile takeover. Goodbye. All right, so. We just gotta open up one of these doors. So into the night with we'll loot and then we could move. So let's do it. Actually. move here and get two things equal to once. <laughs> nice securitus route there. Lots of gold. Okay. One, two, three. We will heal up. Now I think we can one, two, and then open it and then back out. What's that gonna leave us with? A reverse edge and frigid. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, this is a shaman. He's not going to do much. Attack one, range, target two, curse. That's okay, I can just come on in then. Bring it. could run up to him, stab him. I think that's better, actually. And we can even get gold out of this, so, yeah. We'll stun him. Then we'll attack him, and we'll apply this. Oh, that's a burn. I don't want to use a burn. Just attack him. Well, he did have the stun, so actually that would have done more damage, but whatever. Okay, we'll do a short rest. We don't really care what we lose. Because we're right here. Uh, into the night would be nice for... But we don't really... Okay. We'll just whack him with... Uh, and then 
just go fast. Oh, he's gonna... Oh no! That's terrible. I'm immobilized. Am I gonna lose this scenario? <laughs> oh no, wait, we can, uh, we can do a burn. Burn that. Uh, we crit him. <laughs> Alright, we'll go invisible for no reason. Could have gotten more gold, but we got some decent XP. All right, there we go. That is Running the end. The forest, fleeing the smell of burning flesh, you now find more than enough opportunity to contemplate your actions. Oh yeah, we didn't cause a trap to be spawned. It's all right. All right, but uh, yeah, did um. How much chest looted? Zero. Scoundrel. Oh, that's chests, not gold piles. One and seven. Oh my gosh, it's a ton of gold for the for the mind thief. <laughs> Goodness gracious, she's gonna be rich. Scoundrel really needs a better way of getting money. <laughs> How your actions sit with you must be visible on your face as you meet once more with Jexera, this time in her manor. She hands you a sack of coins with a frown. They were thieves and murderers, she says blankly. They deserved what you gave them, and that is all I will say of the matter. I have one more task I would like you to perform. I require a diamond of considerable size for a customer, but I cannot find one anywhere in the city. There is a diamond mine, however, in the southern mountains, long since lost to the wilderness. I've heard reports that it is now overrun with vermlings, no doubt with some other more intelligent force behind them. Hey. If you can fight your way in and grab the biggest diamond you can find, I will give you a considerable reward. Now, leave me in peace. Jaxera's two massive Inox bodyguards step forward, directing you to leave the manor. Outside, contemplating your new task, you hear a small voice behind you. She's not looking for profit, you know. You turn around to see a female quattrel step out of the alley beside Jaxera's house. She's clad in dark leather armor and holds a conspicuous contraption full of whirring gears and topped with a conical metal piece connected to a tube. Argis, city guard, she says, introducing herself. I know I don't exactly look the part, but if anyone isn't what they appear to be, it's that Valrath you've been talking to. Sure, she's a merchant, but she's up to something far more sinister. She's been trying to overthrow the military in Gloomhaven for as long as I've been here. And we're all very curious about what her current machinations are. Look, you can go do her bidding like a good little puppy if you want. But if you'd rather actually help this town keep the peace and not get overrun by the wilds, I have a different idea. We'll get to the bottom of Jexera's plans and expose her for who she really is. All right, 15 gold each, nice. And prosperity and XP. And so we got the diamond mind if we want to do Jaxera's thing, or there's a warehouse here. All right. All right, cool, we leveled up Stabby. So let's see what we get. Okay, open wound. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. And flintlock. Actually, I'm going to take the flintlock because she needs more gold. And having a top uh, level or a, a, a top part of the card for loot is really good. So we're going to go out the flint, flintlock, and we can get rid of what's the other loot card. Is the quick hands? I haven't been using it a lot. And of course, it's got the bottom which is, you know, a big five range four attack. I almost you know, could get rid of the backstab for that because that's kind of like a backstab. But Okay, anyway, cool. So then we have a perk that we can get. 
Uh, I'm going to say ignore negative scenario effects. I, scenario effects. I don't remember the next time that comes up. No, no, no. We're, we're, we'll do the same as the consistency. I think that's good. All right, and we have some gold. So we wanted to go to the merchant and get this horned helm. We so we got a design for a horned helm. We didn't get the, the one, but now it's being sold. Because after removing four more hexes on your turn, add plus one attack to your next melee attack this turn. Not too bad for um for stabby, but we really want the cloak of invisibility. Uh, gives her. They really this 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 combo really needs to be able to get in and do their stuff. Okay, uh, to to be able to do their stuff safely. Okay, so now let's see what have we got here. We can get another. We can get small item. Okay, um, I think we're pretty well stacked, and we just want to save for enhancements now. I mean, we could get a um, a heater shield to you know for her, but. I don't think she needs it really. So we'll just grab her a stamina potion, which is really good. Let's you get um a stamina potion lets you uh get back one of your discards. It's really good. Um so I think now we actually have gear we're geared up. And uh Yeah, I don't mind actually uh just holding on to some money because we'll get we'll hopefully uh, get an enhancement soon all right so a uh, city encounter ah the sleeping lion surely there is no better place to get a drink and relax after clearing out some dank dungeon on this particular occasion though you are approached by a heavily scarred inox she sits at your table and pushes forward a piece of paper an interested party would like to hire you to steal a valuable figurine from a residence in the battlements, she said matter-of-factly. The details are on the paper. Meet me in the back alley in two days' time, and the, after the job is done. I mean, we're going to accept this. We're thieves, right? I mean, we're rogues? Yeah, the job proves is easy enough with the proper expertise. The plans are simple, and you are in and out of the estate easily, free to meet up with the Inox and claim your payment. Great. All right. So we actually have 11 gold. Is there... But I think... We're already set, right? Oh, a hand item. Uh, okay, well, I mean, we could also get a poison dagger for um, for Stabby, but we can't afford it yet, right? So. Hopefully she'll be getting more gold recently. All right, well, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll call it there. Uh, but uh, that was scenario number three. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time on Winging It.